Now we flip the page to the pack. It's stack versus the pack. And here's the pack. What's interesting about this game, full disclosure here, other than GEHA Field at Arrowhead Stadium, this is my favorite place to go for a game. I've gone there a couple times in the preseason. Not the same. Been there twice. The Chiefs have only gone to Lambeau. Think about the Chiefs' 64-year history. Only five times. Five times in history. And two in my brief tenure as 30-year boys of the Kansas City Chiefs. But it's really an interesting study. First of all, where we stay, we Green Bay's small. It's the size of St. Joseph or Topeka. Wow. That's the size of Green Bay, Wisconsin. It's not big. And we stay in a smaller town. I won't disclose. Not a smaller town, but a town. But you travel a half hour through soybean fields and cornfields to get the Lambeau. You see it on the horizon. It's like 10 miles away, but you can see it glowing, especially with Sunday night football. The lights will be on. And you can see it long before you get there. It's like when you go to Alaska, you'll see Denali, right? <laughs> yeah, and it's 400 miles away. And you go, there it is. But uh, this is such a remarkable place. And the history of this place is amazing. It's really the origin of the National Football League, as you think about it. 1921, the Acme Packers. But you feel all that going into this game. And it's a great thing to feel. You also feel Super Bowl One, the very first Super Bowl, where the Chiefs and the Packers. And I know the Kingdom Defenders and all of you, when you come to visit the pilgrimage to GEHA Field at Arrowhead Stadium, you feel all of the tradition that Matt and I talk about that 65 TPT presents to you all year long. You sense it. You feel it. It's even more history. Think about the Chiefs started as the Texans in 1960 in Dallas. Go back another 40 years, and that's the history of the Packers. Super cool. I've never been there, so this will be my first time ever going to Lambeau, and I'm super excited about it for all the reasons that you mentioned. Just the history of the NFL. It's so cool that this venue still exists uh, after decades of uh, football being played there. And I'm also excited that we're going there in December. It wouldn't feel right going to the frozen tundra in September, right? It wouldn't be the same. So I'm super pumped to go there in December, and hopefully we get a big win. Just that we want to have all those cornfields and soybean fields to go through, and we've gone there before in the fall. That's done, picked, and harvested, and get ready for next year. But yes, it, when it will be cold and snowy, uh, so we will get to experience the, the, the frozen tundra. And I always go down to the point of the Bart Starr sneak on the coldest day ever a football game was played. And when they beat the Dallas Cowboys, I always do that. It's in this tradition. I'll go down. When we do field pass, I will go to the one-yard line where he snuck in. Uh, the Chiefs have been there in my tenure twice, prior to that three times. Uh, the Chiefs, though, had a glorious victory there in 2003, a very improbable victory, part of the 9-0 start that year. 